Hey Wolves fans, welcome back to the State of the Union of the Sudbury Wolves. Brandon Scott with me, the head coach of the Sudbury Wolves. Now we're going to take a look at what to expect for next season, starting out. What do you expect of your team? Well, I expect to get better. Um, guys showed improvement last year and, and we want that again. If you if you scored five goals, it'd be nice to get to ten goals. And every year you want to get, you come back, you want to be bigger, faster, stronger. Uh, we're going to be a, bif a different team. Uh, we have some, some guys that are leaving that have graduated that could go on to play pro hockey, could be going on to go to schooling. Um, so you're going to see some different faces, probably some younger kids again. Uh, we're not in a rebuild. Uh, we had a good draft this year, so we're, we're going to come in, fill some holes, and we want to be a team that competes every night. We've built a reputation of of coming, working hard, being hard to play against, going through people, and I expect that to carry over. Now, tell me, it's no secret, every OHL team, uh, they have uh, lots of bodies coming in and out of the door at the same time. But are we going to have a pretty new-looking team for the schools? Uh, we might. Um, uh, two parts of that. Up front, I think you're going to see a different team. But on the back end, no. We, we were young this year. Uh, on the back end, right from the get-go, uh, depending on all the players who come back, we could have six returning defensemen. Um, and then fast forward a year before, you could have five more returning. So the decor is getting stronger. Um, you have your ups and downs in the season with them. They, they make some mistakes, but as they become 18, 19, and 19, and 20, you're, we're going to have a solid defensive team. Uh, up front, we're going to have some younger guys. Uh, and again, we'll go back to... We have an 03 draft where we pick three forwards in the first round. I expect some 02s from the draft before to come in and, and earn a spot and beat an 03 out. So uh, everything's up up for grabs. I'm a, I'm a coach that everyone knows that uh, where you were drafted or where you played the year before doesn't matter. If you come, you work hard, you play, you're going to play on my hockey team. Now, you already kind of mentioned it there, uh, but this past season we had such a young decor uh, headline with two rookies, Jack Thompson and Isaac Phillips. Now, tell me, are you excited at all for having a whole year of experience underneath all their belts? Uh, you do get excited about that. It's, uh, it's how you build. Um, you go back right to the Ottawa 67s. They're not, their decor were young. They went through the process of, of finishing eighth and they're better this year and they can be continued. I, I think we're we're moving that way and uh, there's some good players. Liam Ross is an old one again that played as, as a year before. So our decor is not going to be old or they're going to be still young. But in saying that they have the experience, they've got playoff experience, a lot of minutes in playoff, uh, especially uh, Jack Thompson, who's an 02, I think in the last game probably played 35, 40 minutes. A lot of old two defensemen don't even dress in playoffs or, and so, to me, it's exciting. Um, and again, uh, our, our team, uh, you start with the goaltender, you move out. So you go from your goalie to your defense that make your forwards look good. And, and, and we have a lot of pieces coming back. Now, with that being said, uh, what's some of the strongest areas do you think of the team is going to have next year? I think one is, uh, I think we can score some more goals. Uh, our power play struggled during the regular season, but in the playoffs got rolling and, and that's the time you need it. Uh, we have guys that are dedicated shot blockers that kill penalties. So one is our specialty teams have to be really good. Uh, and I think scoring goals, uh, we had a lot of opportunities that we missed. We missed uh, shots, we missed passes, but uh, a year under your belt, more confidence. You know what, there, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be some, some weekends that probably don't go our way. But overall, our goal is to be in the playoffs. And once you get in the playoffs, you never know what can happen. Now, there's always two sides of that question. There's the strengths, but then there's also the weaknesses. Is there any areas where uh, you're a little unsure of yet until training camp? Uh, of, of what you're going to get back. Um, I think that's my biggest. The, the, what you see in junior hockey, you have a kid come in. He could be small or a smaller stature. He comes in, he's really big. He's put on a lot of weight in the gym. He's working out. Maybe he's too big. Uh, so it takes a while to handle the puck. Um, you have guys that uh, could be drafted when they come back. What are they like? Are they a step ahead? Or are they behind thinking it's going to be easy? But we, we have some holes. We're going to have to improve. And again, that's, that's for the coaching staff and the management to address those needs early. And once we get them addressed, then full steam, let's move. And it, it's, what is it, April right now? But next year, I'd like to be playing in April. 
Now tell me, uh, it's a long time away from the training camp. What else is in store for you this summer? Be ready for, for, for training camp. We'll get that all organized. We'll be ready. Uh, there's a little behind the scenes of hotels and meals that every team does, but uh, it's a business that runs and we will start, uh, I think around August 28th. And when, when that starts, uh, I expect the guys to be in shape, be ready to play and let's hit, uh, let's hit the ice flying and, and let's have a good start in October. Well, I'd just like to thank you, Corey, for joining me on this State of the Union of the Sudbury Wolves. You can follow along on all our social media platforms to stay up to date on all things Wolves.